guys, good morning. So today is a very special day because today is my birthday. It's my birthday, my 25th birthday. Eh, don't really wanna be halfway to 50, but it is what it is. So today's my birthday. Um, so far it's been a great day. I let myself sleep in until like seven. Um, had iced coffee and donuts in bed with my dog and did paperwork and caught up on messages and it was amazing. So today I really didn't book um, appointments because I just wanted to do like some fun work, catch up on some things and just kind of enjoy my day. So I'm about to clean the shop floors, bleach them and whatnot. They really need it. Um, clean shop equals happy lacy. so pumped about that. And um, I'm going to add some things to the Shopify clearly film and edit and upload this video but i'll show you guys one thing i'm going to add to the shopify today so i won't say these are limited edition but this is the very first flat bill that has been available for purchase on the site so we've got all black snapback in the back little pink and white classic lb logo um i bend these bills also but you see they'll kind of you know fit like that so you can leave it flat you can bend it sometimes I don't know if you're supposed to bend them, but sometimes I rock it like that. It is the first flat bill that's been available on the site. A couple more exciting announcements are gonna be in this video. First things first, uh, like I said, I'm gonna film this video, upload it, that's part of my agenda today. I'm going to pull my new truck in, new to me truck, and kind of show you guys some of the details of it as I know some of you guys have been asking, what's the plans with it, you know, what's the inside look like, etc. So I'm gonna show you guys that today. Also, if you notice my Zephyr's Polishes shirt, you guys see us use their products all the time um, and repping them all the time, hanging out with our Zephyr's peeps at truck shows and all of that. So as of today, July 1st, I am officially a Zephyr's brand ambassador. Super pumped about it. Like I said, I've been using their products. Clearly, you guys see us use them. Great products, even better people, literally a no-brainer. So I'm super excited to work with them this year. We've got a lot of exciting things coming. Their products are actually gonna be available on my Shopify website very soon, so you guys can check those out there. But today, I just decided this like five minutes ago, in honor of my birthday and of the anniversary of becoming a Zephyr's um, brand ambassador, I'm gonna do a giveaway. Five of my favorite Zephyr's polishing products ship to your door, you're gonna love them too, and all you have to do to enter is leave your best happy birthday comment in the comment section. I wanna laugh, I wanna cry, leave your best comment. I'm gonna pick the winner, uh, let's see, in a week. I'll pick the winner in a week. And I may even kind of let you guys help me with as far as whatever comments get the most likes. So I wanna see you guys get creative, drop those comments, win some products. Do you guys like my cute sweaty bun? <laughs> Floors are clean. It is uh, literally 100 degrees outside today, so a little sweaty. Side note, one day I will finish these glitter floors and one day I will buy crops. Pull this rig into the shop. Always easier said than done, first of all. Well guys, I literally, literally just backed into the hole. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, I'm vlogging this because why would I not? If it happened, we're just gonna vlog it, okay? I swear I'm more careful with customers' trucks. No, okay, is it fine? He says at least pull it out of the road. Okay, hang on, there's someone driving by. Did you hear that from I was there? literally trying to get my camera out. Oh my because God. I heard the bump. I think it's gonna be fine though. I can't see with that freaking, well I actually can't see nothing because the window tint, it's fine. Say it again. I think it's fine, oh, man. This there. thing's a that. horse. Look at that. Just a little scuff. Oh, That'll ain't bump nothing. Out. Yep. We'll yep. line her right over that crap anyways. Yep. That was loud, though. That was real loud. That sounded like thunder from inside. <laughs> oh. Uh, I hope those... They, did, they didn't recognize it. You might have straightened it out a little bit, honestly. Yeah. It's a little crooked. Honestly. I think it's going to be just fine. Oh, we'll just pretend like it never... The tightest squeeze. I'm not even playing. It's going to be fine, guards. It's going to be fine, okay? <laughs> It's tight. Oh, it's fine? No. Well, I don't not know. Really? <laughs> well, I'm not going to be able to see the... Oh, you're good. Duels. Okay. Ready? Do you need a neck break after hitting that pole or what? <laughs> Probably. It was hard. I said I promise I'm more careful with customer's trucks. Mm, you are. Yes. Facts. 
I don't know what that's to. It's so you can see your airbags. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Let's check on them suckers. <laughs> Beep. Looking good. <laughs> okay, guys, truck is pulled in. Just sprayed it down, really did the bare minimum. Um, I'm gonna turn this um, fan off real quick. So it is a 2004 C4500, heavy duty S10, in case you're wondering. No, I'm definitely gonna take that off. I'm gonna debadge it and everything to the old Dixie classic. Anyways, I have always wanted one of these. The Duramax in it, Allison transmission. Gray interior the headliner is really nice that's like one of the things I look for I'm picky about that um, the leather is in really great shape I've kind of already made myself at home on the inside we've got makeup palettes we've got LB hats those by the way will be back in stock um, by July 10th but anyways so the inside is pretty clean this back here folds into a bed for road trips it's Emily's bed back there. Yeah, so it's pretty convenient back here. Lots of space. Just got the windows tinted. Shout out to Android Precision. Got that windshield tint though, what you know about that. Gooseneck hitch on the other night. So it's ready to pull the trailer if needed. So this fuel tank, I'm either going to get rid of this toolbox, even though, holy cow, it is convenient. I just really don't like it at all. Um, get rid of that. This fuel box may polish it with some Zephyrs, shine it up, make it look nice. I'm really thinking about putting a fuel box in it. If you guys have seen those, it's like a toolbox and a fuel tank, and it doesn't look like a fuel tank. So those are super cool, thinking about doing that. So basically, everyone's been asking me, What's the plans with the build? What are you doing with the Kodiak? We're excited to see it. Um, I mean, first of all, I've always wanted one. I needed a dually to pull the trailer for whatever the next build is for SEMA. And I'm like, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna get what I've always wanted and I'm super, super happy with it. Literally, I know that I just ran into a pole, <laughs> okay? Literally drive through traffic and my friends are like, you whip through traffic like you've drove one, drove one of these your whole life. I'm like, I was bored to drive it but really though no. the front's pretty much just as wide as the duals so if you can fit the front through you can fit the back through and you don't have to really worry about that I feel like that's always like um a misconception for me driving a dually it's like kind of this reminds me of a cat okay they say like the cat's whiskers the cats have their whiskers they grow as long is their body is wide so they know what they can fit through without getting stuck that's what that's what this is so like a cat with whiskers it's a really good analogy so i don't exactly know what the actual plans are for the build yet i'm probably gonna keep it forever down the line would i love to build it literally into like mega truck monster yes but for right now it's just going to be functional i'm um, gonna be a daily driver a hauler all of that fun stuff First things first, what I'm going to do to it, and this is also a little announcement for you guys, I have partnered up with Armadillo Liners. They are coming the week of the 22nd, and they're going to install their best system in the shop and train Emily and I to do bed liners. So, of course, I've gotta take it to the next level and bedline whole vehicles, because why not? I'm gonna bedline this whole rig. We may be doing that in their training while they're here if we have enough time. They said that's like a solid three day project. Makes sense because we're gonna do it right with the door jams, all of that. So my plan for it, because I, I don't really like white. My Escalade was white, I know. I don't really like white vehicles. So um, I want this thing to be black. Um, I want it to be like a metallic black, not like a flat black, something with like some gloss and flake to it. That is the plan, blacked out super pumped for that it's gonna be some awesome youtube content for you guys and we are so excited to be working with armadillo liners so we will be up and running doing that by the first week of august in the shop we'll be able to offer bed liners full vehicle bed liner so i would like you guys' opinion me and garth were just talking i'm gonna take all those stickers and badges off of course i'm gonna keep the wheels polished unfortunately hostel does not make dually wheels so I'm gonna stick with custom cuts or you know something more off-brand stock like this. Um, and 
we were talking about maybe leaving the diamond plate, taking this off and putting it back on after everything is bedlined. So you guys see the little diamond plate accents. Definitely wanna black out all those lights and do LED. You see all the diamond plate accents. So wondering, should I do those black as well or should I leave them diamond plate? I would love to hear your suggestions in the comments. And even if you guys just have any suggestions, period, or things you wanna see done to the truck, I'm open to hear those. Like I said, in the future, would I love to build it? What are we freaking huge? Yes, but for right now, I wanna keep it somewhat practical. A four wheel drive swap could be in the future. A fast fuel system is definitely in the works for this truck, super excited about that. You know, probably gonna do some tuning in the near future. I definitely wanna do something, you know, with these headlights. Um, been talking to off-road LED bars a little bit about what we can do. I'm thinking maybe some pods, like the LED pods for those. Definitely have to do away with all the amber. If you know me, you know I literally hate any kind of amber. So I wanna do some clear cab lights. I'd literally rather take spray paint to those than for them to be orange, so that's just me. Um, hyped about that. Like I said, black everything out. The grill is gonna be black. If I'm going polished with the wheels and keeping um, the diamond plate, I may do something where just the outline of this bow tie is chrome and the rest is black. But ultimately, I've always pictured a blacked out Kodiak. So I don't wanna to go too crazy with the chrome, but um, I would like to keep the wheels polished, mainly just for marketing purposes and who doesn't love a good polished wheel. I'm gonna hop up in here and start it for you guys. All right. I literally am so short. <laughs> So yeah, definitely not, you know, not new interior like I'm used to in the Escalator or anything, but I am in love with this thing. Yeah, we just rolled over 60,000 miles, so I'm super happy with finding one with that low of miles actually for a 2004. I'm hyped about that. Yeah, runs pretty good. Check out that tin job, guys. Ooh, nice. So another thing, guys. This week, I have to start making some decisions for SEMA 2019. I've been super torn between a couple build ideas that I have. Um, so definitely whatever I do, um, I have a lot of the companies worked out that I'm already working with. Um, Anything that I build is gonna have Hostel 2616s on it and 44 inch boggers again um, because I love that setup and I'm not letting it go. So anything will have that on it. Um, I've been tossing around a couple ideas. I basically need to decide literally today or tomorrow what I'm building because we're nearing the SEMA crunch for sure. So doing custom suspension, working with Yukon Gear and Axle again, um, Neely Precision for the center caps. So one of the ideas that I'm thinking, look at this hair right now. One of the ideas that I'm thinking, and I want you guys to leave your opinion in the comments, an old Jeep Willys. I'm gonna put a picture right here of the body style that I'm thinking. And what I would do to it is do enough lift. I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess it would need 12, to around 10, 15 inches of, um, you know, some kind of custom lift. I want to four link it, do mostly tubular, and then, like I said, 44s, 2616 polished. Um, and I, if I do that, um, I want to rhino line the whole thing, so that'll be cool because I'll be doing that myself and the little bit of body work that it does need. It's some kind of fun color, possibly like this blue color of my nails. It's kind of what I'm thinking with charcoal gray accents um, and suspension. I think that'd be super cute. But not only is it gonna be cute, I want to 12 valve swap it, put a hood stack in it, nitrous kit, make it a burnout machine, smoke switch, the whole nine yards of that kind of fun stuff that I love. That's definitely like top of the list of what I'm thinking about. Like I said, I need to decide pretty much like this week ASAP by the end of this week, I need to pick something up and get started on it. So if you guys want to leave your opinions in the comments, let me know what you would think about, you know, watching a Jeep Willys build come to life. 
my other idea I'm a little iffy to put out there it's never been done before um, a newer body style like 2018 Lincoln Navigator lifted similar to my Escalade it's solid axle swap four link custom suspension 44 inch boggers basically ruining another luxury vehicle I think that'd be kind of cool um, but I just don't know if it'd be as fun to like play around in as the willies I mean I don't know and in a roundabout way altogether somewhat besides the fact that one of them will have a payment on it they're gonna be similar to the same money invested so I could really use you guys help helping decide like I said I need to decide literally today or tomorrow what I'm doing get something picked up um, yeah so details of the Lincoln would be you know 15 to 18 inches of custom lift 26 16s 44s um, and basically that would be it for the most part of course in I mean the interior and everything wouldn't need a thing it's literally their interior sick as it is I'm just not sure I'm just torn between the two so if you guys have any opinions drop them below would you like to see me drive a bad a diesel Jeep Willys or do you want to see another ruined luxury vehicle on 44 inch boggers both can be on 44 inch boggers because boggers or bust